What's up everyone? Back with another video today. Uh, I know it's been a, a little while since I've done an opening here on this channel, but I'm back um, opening up some Top Series 2 blaster boxes. Um, it's the second time I've seen them on the shelves, um, but I went out today and I had to do some errands and stopped at the, the Target that always restocks on Tuesdays to see if uh, maybe there was any uh, prison football or prison basketball. Um, definitely didn't expect to see anything, but um, still got my hands on a few blaster boxes um, and I'm excited to open it up and um, it's an appropriate time to do so in All-Star Game, uh, All-Star Game Day. Um, and the potential of getting a, a Julio Rodriguez, that would be pretty cool. Um, I know the chances are pretty slim, but uh, he killed it last night in the the home run derby. So uh, we can give it a shot and see if we can uh, uh, hit something big. Um, it's my first time actually opening up the Series 2. Um, I've been taking it easy. I've still been buying boxes, but um, I haven't been opening up as much. Um, just because I've been focused on some other aspects of card collecting, actually. Um, I sent away some cards to PSA for the first time. Um, I think I just got those out yesterday, so I was... I know it's probably not super difficult for people who have done it before, but it was my first time doing it, and I did a lot of research and have some pretty decent cards. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I was doing it correctly and not screwing anything up to make sure I can get the the best grade and like the best deal possible. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been working on. I've actually, um, and just like selling some cards too, just because I've spent so much money, I just wanna make some back. Um, so I actually sold my first card a few days ago as well. Um, yeah, I was an Aaron Judge, so just wanted that out of my collection. It was numbered. Aaron Judge, um, so it was a, a nice card, but, um, figured I'll, I'll just sell that because I don't want to look at it, um, but yeah, it's my first time opening up Series 2, I'm sure it'll be very similar to Series 1, it's packs look a little funny, but, um, yeah, well, I, I did football last time, so haven't done a ton of baseball, I've been, did a lot of Bowman, in between, uh, I did a lot of series one to start the channel and then uh, moved up to, to Bowman. And yeah, looks like it's actually my, I've seen videos, but my first in-person look at the rookie card logo does look much bigger, which I like a lot more. There's an India cup card. Um, but yeah, I was always kind of intimidated by like uh, sending away cards to PSA. I didn't really know how to do it. And then selling them through eBay, just very new to that kind of stuff. Uh, that's a pretty good one. It's a Juan Yepes rookie card. He's pretty decent. Taking some playing time away from Carlson though in the middle of the year. Carlson was my guy that I thought uh, could do could do well, but all right, what's this? I don't really seen the inserts either. Sweet Shades, Mookie Betts. Oh, there's the stars of the MLB again. Um, I've also been doing a lot of sorting as well. Sorting through all the cards I don't want and then figuring out how, to, how I can donate those just because I have a, a small apartment and um, don't really want to use all my storage space for cards, even though I'd like to, but especially with the, the base, that's pretty worthless. So I take out like the, most of the stars that I want to keep and rookies I keep, obviously, but everything else like a uh, Austin Hayes that will get donated probably. Um, just no room for it. But I remember like promising to myself, I'm like, I'm not getting any series two, they completely botched that like uh Bobby Witt and Julio both started the year and I'm pretty sure that's like they're supposed to put them in series two if they 
if they debut. Oh, is this a, that's just a border. Corey Seager. Pretty sure they're supposed to put the debut players in series two if they weren't in series one. They didn't do that. It's kind of nice, refreshing to see, see some new cards though. The rookie. Dean Kramer, Mark Hanna. I do have my video on 0.5 zoom, just to, it's not super zoomed in. Um, you can see my, added some bobbleheads to the, I'm slowly building up the uh, production set, but obviously Chris Salitz said, touchy subject, just got back and then got hurt. Kind of a bummer. Um, the Red Sox aren't doing great. Kevin Kiermaier, that kind of looks like a short print to me. 47, 47. I think I'm just not used to these new cards. Stars, of, oh, that's a Chrome. Goldschmidt, potential MVP. It's like a nice one. Ozzy Albies, stars of them will be. So we're looking for O'Neill Cruz, Juan Yepes, and then the short prints out of here. Uh, Shane Boz too, but pitcher. So not super desirable. These do kind of look sharper though than series one. The color looks a little sharper and um, the feeling of it is also feels like better quality. But maybe that's just me imagining things. All right, so nothing too crazy so far. Obviously left the uh, um, the pat memorative patch for last. Oh, and there's a parallel there. JT Brubaker, green icy parallel. That's pretty nice. It's not very good, but <laughs> I like the look of it. Got an insert too. Just leave that up. God, doing the, um, prepping the cards to get graded. I was very, very shaky. Just because I have some valuable cards, not insanely valuable, but like, it's like, I don't want to mess it up. So, um, to be very careful and it just feels good to just be able to slide a card in a sleeve without worrying about it but that's a pretty decent card and there's a Miggy uh, die cut there another Miggy started the MLB Muncy Garcia Dickerson Larnick yeah really looking for O'Neill Cruz really um, and if I do get a short print out of here, I'm not opening up the the other blaster box. I'm just gonna cut it short and um, just shut off my luck there. I remember the last video I had a awesome prism <clears throat> first blaster box and then should have held the, the second one because the second one was pretty bad. Um, not into super into flipping, but um, I kind of just like the feeling of sealed boxes and obviously I think they hold better value than uh just like a card would um just because you don't know what you can get out of there if there's a few good rookies in there then um doesn't even matter if it's in there or not people are going to want the box so it's in my in my mind a safer way of investing <clears throat> obviously print runs matter like series one is, will probably never change from 20 bucks unless Wander Franco is like the next trout, which doesn't seem like, so far it doesn't seem like it's going that way. Um, series two potentially is better. I think it's half the print run of series one, um, which is pretty good. 
Like, we just got that parallel in there, and that's not super shocking, whereas for Series 1, you probably have to open, like, four blaster boxes just to find a gold. It's pretty crazy. But, yeah, I'll, I'll cut my losses if I find a good one in these next few packs, but if not, I'm opening up that second second box. It's the Miguel Cabrera box. Another insert. Stars of the MLB. Paul De Jong. Nothing good in here either. Um, but yeah, I got... I was able to get three of the, uh, I know, six of the Prism Cellos, which I know they're much easier to get than the other products, but like, I'm just going to hold those until, like, until there's a rainy day or if they just never increase in value, I'll just open them. But I think that just feels better, in my opinion. Makes my investment feel better unless I got really lucky, but... I just know there's going to be a million, like, of those quarterbacks, those base quarterbacks, so. Looks like we have a blue, maybe just a, oh, that's a nice Devers. So blue, burnt, and low. It's pretty nice. And the patch is a Lubab. So thick. Jeez. That thickest card I've definitely ever held. That's pretty cool. I like the helmet. Let's put that on there. And then to finish off this box. So. Another rookie. Night. Awesome. Got a, this green icy parallel, which is nice, but not of a good player, so. It's not great. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's a great box. Yepa is a good player, but I think it definitely warrants opening up the second one and see, seeing if we have better luck with this. Um, I do have like a, a hanger as well, but I think I'm just gonna save that for another day too. Might as well make it two blasters while I'm at it. Add some more. The donation pile. Like a hundred cards per box. Pretty crazy. Compared to uh, the hanger, I think it's like 67. So not as bad, but. And you, I feel like, have just as much of a chance of getting a um, parallel in there. But I like ripping packs. Feels better. Um, state of the hobby feels kind of weird right now, honestly. When I started, I think it was near the wasn't 2020 peak, but near the peak, couldn't find anything on the shelves. Now it's kind of like things are sitting there. I don't know if I even want want to bother buying them, just because it seems like they don't really have any value and um, just the like NBA rookie class, I don't love. I like the football rookie class, but that's impossible to find. Or it's just like the lowest of the low uh, product. I feel like I saw this pack before. It's a little bit loud. But yeah, it's been what, maybe two weeks two or three weeks since I've opened up anything. It's pretty crazy. I've really had some good willpower. I'm impressed. And I don't know. Usually I get on a roll once I start opening. It's very addicting, but I, I have like a box underneath my bed that I put them all in. So I don't even, I can't look at it. I like to take them out occasionally and just, I got, I don't really have that much either. I just have like, Bowman, some Bowman down there, and the Prism. Um, but I just know that stuff will either go up in value or stay the same. And if it stays the same, I'll just open it. And if it goes up, 
I don't know what I'll do, but it's nice to have the option. I feel like this is very similar to the last box. I picked two random ones off their shelf too, and not side by side, so I tried to make it. It was fully stuck. But actually, a lot of them weren't damaged. A lot of the boxes had like dents on them, and I noticed that with the, some of the hangers too of different products were damaged. I don't know what Target's doing. Oh, there's Seth Bear. That's a good one. I don't know if that's a short print or not. He's a good player. Should move this out of the way. Nothing stand worthy yet. In my opinion. Looks like we have a rainbow foil. Josh Van Meter. Tuve. Still looking for the O'Neill Cruz. I don't know how good he will be, but he just seems like the type of player that'll be collectible. Um, Seems like he, um, he gave a spark to the Pirates for a few games when he first got called up and was, I think it's all about like media coverage and hype and stuff when it comes to this hobby and obviously just who you like in general, but more people like the ones who are covered more. So like him and I feel like Jazz would be one of those type of players, but he's in Miami, which is probably like the worst market to be in it's because no one cares about Miami. And they're just like, I can't watch games at that stadium. It's just painful. It's a blue Longoria. Yeah, there's a Bogarts. Just like doesn't feel, I don't know, I'm into, more classic MLB stadiums. I don't love newer teams. So I'm just very traditional in that way. I excited just because I like the baseball history and stuff. And Marlins just seem like such a new team and new stadium and don't have much history. And the Florida Mar Marlins made the won a World Series, but other than that. Something. Peralta generation now. Trey Turner stars that will be. Nothing there. All right, two packs left so far. Kind of disappointed. Um, it's kind of what I thought series two would be. Very like mediocre rookies and. Um, not much else to speak of. Nothing much to get excited about, in my opinion. But it's worth the open. There's the Red Sox. Connor Seabold. Another Xander. Stars of the MLB. And there's a backwards card. Wonder what that'll be. Giant, Donovan Solano, and it's a short print. It's a weird card to have a short print of, or is it, oh no, advanced stats of Donovan Solano. Uh, don't know what to compare this stuff to, but it doesn't look all that impressive. Seems like, yeah, Donovan Solano, not a very impressive player. So not super happy about that, but it's a, oh, there's O'Neill Cruz. All right. Like to see that. I wonder how much he is going for on eBay. But J-Rod, he's early skyrocketing. I hope he's still gonna be an update. 
So I will definitely buy way more of that than Series 2. But there's O'Neill Cruz, put you up there with All-Star Alejandro Kirk. And to finish off the pack. All right, well, I kind of got what I wanted, O'Neill Cruz, but it's hoping for like, I don't know, something more. A parallel of a better player, maybe. Well, let's see what we can get out of the memorabilia pack. It's so fat. There's another Van Meter. J.D. Davis. Like, a lot of these rookies I've never seen. I check the box scores every day. Never seen these guys. Like, why couldn't you just put Wit or one of them in here? Make it a little bit more exciting. That's a pretty cool card. Powerful Honor. Austin Warren. Matt Carpenter, let's see what the memorabilia is going to be of. Adolis Garcia. Don't even know what he's doing this year. <laughs> Followed by an Eli. Kind of looks cool, the blue. I like that color. But nothing to write home about. It's a nice Eli. Lindor. So we come to the, the end of things here. Can we get one more good rookie? The very end. And nope, oh, that'll do it. Alright. So it was a not a warm welcome back, I wouldn't say. For opening packs, but did have fun. I did like to see I do like to see the um something new. Um but yeah. Thank you all for watching.